cover sector two. Do all these guys have terrible names? Lyle, Maurice. Okay, Anthony isn't such a bad name. But I remember him. That guy was cool. James, check out the control bridge. That guy has a porno mustache. He busts work in porno. Look at that. Porn mustache. Run a complete sweep of the residential quarters and investigate any trace of survivors. Uh, no, not build robots? Meanwhile, I'll stay here and read. Do not forget to check in regularly via navigation booths. And I still have my college degree to earn, so, uh, gotta read. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up and running. Because obviously you're well suited to that. Your comm system is still functional. Remember, everything you see will also appear on this screen. <laughs> They're looking at him, Our so he appears on the weapons, screen. That's actually pretty cool. Been Samus. As far as your other weapons go, we will continue to investigate and authorize use as we can. Samus. We currently have no plans to authorize the use of power bombs. No, but they're my best you weapon. Know, have the ability to spread a high temperature heat wave over a large area, impacting living things. Or a way of saying they can vaporize humans instantly. But that's why I want to use we them. Humans are so annoying. Oh. Power bombs are, and how their devastation can't be obstructed with common materials. Once the mission in the system management room is complete, I need you to report back. I'll give you your next orders then. I want you all to be especially careful as you execute your missions. That's Break. The end of the briefing. Oh, I want to give a thumbs down, but my hand is stuck in a cannon. Fuck. Since becoming a freelance bounty hunter. And of course, it was the first time since my Federation days that I was following the orders of a commanding officer. I like how like they're all gearing up. Sash is like, eh. I felt confused and strangely exhilarated at the unexpected turn of events. I responded. Understood, Adam. No objections, of course. Okay. So that's where you want to go. And now you have the bombs. First thing, though is we're gonna collect some stuff. Down here is a broken gate. And behind that, missile expansion. So yeah, basically I, I know where like the first seven of these are and then and then I don't know. Cause that's all like the demo really had, unfortunately. Oh, let's save. Aw, oh, I can't save while in morph ball mode. Just because, you know, batteries running low and stuff. And now... Does this computer work yet? No. It will when we're coming back up, because then there's another thing we could get. Um, okay, so he locked that door. Fucking shriek backs. Um, so... You know what, fuck it. <laughs> and we get our energy tank, our first one. Now, oh, you, wait, you can't, oh, that sucks, okay, because these guys are going to try to ambush us. Wait, what the, oh, oh fuck it. Takes three missiles to down one of them. And then. There we go. 
And now we can do this properly. And of course, you could refill your missiles anytime just by wishing for some more. So now we could choose to report back, or we could get some other stuff that we missed along the way. Whoa, that was an awkward loading screen. Now this one is very easily missed. Like, um, I remember uh, when Chris first played this game, this was the last item he got. So, you know, for 100%. So I'm gonna get it now. Just to get it out of the way. So yeah, I also saw Chris like do do the, his uh, after game in, you know, like after the story mode, just to collect a uh, hundred percent of stuff. His last, basically, I only saw like the last two items, but that's about it. And I forget like where, like other than that one, I forget what the other one was because it was like far into the game. Anyway, this is still mostly blind. Um, you know, for any of you guys who are worried about anything for some reason. I still don't know any of the boss. Well, I know one boss, Ridley, but that's about it. Um, and he's in every game, you know? I just, you could just guess that he's there. And then down here's one. But yeah, this is about as professional, like, and practiced as these, uh, live, le uh, blind let's plays are gonna get. And just because I trade out the demo and ignore those guys, fuck them. Oh wait, that's right. Okay. Like it's weird. They teach you the wall jump. You don't get to use it yet. And fuck the, those guys, they're useless to me. Um, fuck the Shriek Bats. And, uh, yeah, okay. So now we go this way. I have a feeling I'm missing one. No? Wait. Yeah, yeah, I am. Wait. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm not. Oy. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I'm not. I was just getting paranoid there. Oh no! I like how Samus just let the floor fall from under her. So yeah, you could just jump on these enemies, use the overblast, kill them in one shot. Very easy. Although it's very tricky to pull off, you know, so. And another missile expansion. Also, for some reason, this game will not let you run off an edge. Kind of good, kind of inconvenient. Uh, you know, best of both worlds, I guess. And if I could use this computer, all you do to use a computer is stand in front of it, and then Samus will just go automatically. And the bridge is back. Wait, why am I even bothering to do this? Oh yeah, we have to take the elevator. Okay. And now I can do this. Which allows us access to another missile tank.
There we go. And, uh, we'll save. I'm surprised my battery has lasted this long. You know, kinda. We already got the thing in here, so... We can just speed through over here. And back to Adam. Samus, go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector 1. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey Sector 1. Okay, so that big room over there, it says Sectors 1, 2, and 3 is the elevator room. Well, the main elevator room. It is important. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Duck walk. Look at Samus Jig. Look at that. Best walking animation ever. Okay. Now, here's one that's not even on the radar. But what you have to do is climb into here, use the morph ball. And missile expansion. Wait, is there one on the other side too? Uh, I doubt it. But I'll just check. No. Okay. And we take the elevator. Another power up over there. Very easy to see. Oh yeah, and this game has an auto-aim, uh, in case you couldn't tell, which makes things very, very helpful. Yeah, those things will explode. Very, very mean. Ah, oh, see, and they'll knock you off like that. They're just jerks, those guys. And I just went the wrong way. Uh, okay, that didn't knock me off, at least. That would have just been annoying. Energy part acquired. And now we just fall back down here, go through this door. And look at that, more Tektites. Well, I like to call them Tektites, because they remind me of that enemy in Zelda. And they are easily done away with. If you could jump on them. Jumping on them is the hardest part. But it, it's worth it, you know, it's faster to just jump on them and use the overblast or overkill or whatever than to actually try and Whoa! I can't believe I let myself got hit. I I am ashamed. There we go. And then the door unlocks. I like how the doors are enemy sensitive. That's cool. Not really. Okay. So, like I said, this is the main elevator room. Yeah, you're stuck like this. Oh, you go in first person too and just look around. You can't fire missiles or anything. But uh, I guess if you want to do first person instead, you are free to do that. They have a little computer.